Howdy all, I'm Adam the Renaissance Nerd. Every time I think I'm done with the Acolyte, Disney Star Wars pulls me back in. We have talked extensively on this channel, on other channels, on many streams and videos about how the Acolyte was and is and always will be the peak example of Disney Star Wars hubris and failure. It is the show they specifically crafted for every goddamn modern audience weirdo that is out there. And they all showed up. All couple thousand of them were there. And guess what? The rest of the world, one giant, no hell, double barrel middle finger. Nobody cared. Nobody watched it. And Disney, for once in their life, made the correct decision to cancel something that was failure. Now, of course, they didn't outright say, we canceled it, it came from a leak, but that is the truth. They canceled it because it was a boondoggle. No! We've learned now the actual cost. Without marketing, I assume marketing adds another 100 million, but we'll go with the solid fact receipt number that we learned what am i talking about we have now learned ladies and gentlemen the acolyte cost 230 million dollars to make let's read this real quick exclusive united kingdom tax documents filed by walt disney uk branch revealed that lucasfilm and disney spent over 172 million gbp 231 million U.S. dollars on the production of The Acolyte, a prequel series set in the Disney Star Wars universe. Thank you, Park Place, for saying Disney Star Wars universe. Because this is Disney Star Wars. It is the High Republic. It is a failure nobody ever asked for. Here's the snapshot of the actual document. There it is. You cannot ignore it. Plain and simple. These are facts. These are numbers you cannot dispute. In an interview with Vanity Fair, the Acolyte series creator Leslie Headland publicly claimed the show cost $180 million. And we'll just stop right there. She obviously just looked at that, assumed that was the U.S. dollar number, and we all ran with it because guess what? We only can work with the facts given to us. But here are the real facts now. $230 million. Why is this so bad? You're looking at me and you're saying, Adam... It's just another big number. What's it really matter? It matters for a very simple reason. Well, two simple reasons. The first one, financially speaking, Disney Star Wars exists on Disney+. Plus. That's its home. There has been a movie in four years. And the movie's coming out, Mandalorian and Grogu. Oh, that's not going to, it's not going to play well with real fans. And even the stands have had enough. We'll get to that in a minute. And then, of course, there are rumors, mind you, rumors that the Ray movie might be shuttered. It might be delayed. It might be done. I personally want it to come out because when the Ray movie comes out, they spend $300 million on that and it bombs. What more proof do we need that Disney Star Wars is and always will be a failure? But that's a what-if scenario at the moment. And the truth, the logic right here in front of us is the fact that $230 million for the Acolyte is a massive loss because it was on Disney+. Plus. Disney+, Plus does not produce revenue for Disney. That means no money was made, no net profit, nothing. This is into the black hole Everything goes in, nothing comes back out. Hell, I, with my small channel here, made more money talking about the Acolyte than Disney did. That is the truth. That is the facts. You cannot deny it. This is a $230 million loss. We don't need to do fancy math for break even like we do with movies. We can honestly say that's $230 million down the shitter. Because they focused on the modern audience. The modern audience who think that this is a rousing success. Think that their renew the accolade petition is going to bring back the show. That Disney made a mistake. Let them know, everybody. You have let them know. All 80,000 of you have let, you let Disney know that the real population of the world, the real viewing audience, doesn't give a shit. It's down to... Well, for a moment yesterday, it was less than 100 people, but it's around 100 people signing a day. 
This is the wall. This is the limit. It goes no farther because this is the audience they crafted. This audience right here who thinks, we did it. We're trending yesterday. You're trending because the world discovered Disney just lost $230 million on your weirdo show. That's the truth. But they're idiots. They live in their little Star Wars Twitter world. Yay, where everything's positive. Positivity is real. Positivity is fake. These are people who do not understand nobody cares. And they're even losing, as I said, they're losing their manufactured, curated audience. When they announce this right here, the Mandalorian and Grogu will reportedly be the last chapter in Din and Grogu's story. Wow. Nobody cares. Real fans don't care. And even the fake fan stands like good old wannabe Ethot M. We're almost free of the Mandoverse. They can't even keep their stands happy. They have diluted, they've screwed it up so much that even this fake fan right here, who just a little while ago was ready to swallow every goddamn Disney cock in front of her, even she's rejecting it. Disney Star Wars is done. It is crap. Skeleton crew, two months away, made for kids, but only childish adults are into it. I'm going to roast it. It's going to be fun. I don't think it's going to be a massive lore break or anything like that, but I do think it's going to be stupid because it literally was made for kids and only the children who are in big old man fat boy bodies are going to watch this and go, yay, look at the little blue boy, yay. That's what they're going to do. Don't protect, protect the kids. They're going to put out fake news, false narratives, protect the children from the toxic nerds. Reviewing a show. Saying a kid is a bad actor is not attacking a kid. It's simply doing a review. Reviews that have been done forever. That's how it works. And this is how Disney Star Wars works. It loses money every time. Remind you, they still haven't earned back the purchase price from George with the movies. They haven't done that. Disney Star Wars, it's a failure. will always be a failure. And I'm going to be here to watch it. I'm going to be here to catalog it. I'm going to be here to roast it every goddamn time. Because it's garbage. And real Star Wars will always be there for you. All right, I'm done. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, a like would be very much appreciated if you are new here. I invite you to subscribe to me right here on YouTube or hope to earn your trust and support using facts and logic because facts and logic do not care about fake fan Stan and SJW Fifi's. Thank you again for watching. Take it easy. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Check out my gaming channel at Renaissance Nerd Arcade and follow me on X Twitter under at the Red Nerd. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy.